In today's video, I'm going to show you how to analyze your product performance in GA4 and Looker Studio. So let's get started. I'll be using Google Analytics Merchandise Store for this demo. To navigate to product performance report, we need to go to reports, monetization, e-commerce purchases. So what data we see here by default? It is item name and it is your product name and then item viewed, item added to cart, item purchased and item revenue. Uh, we can display top 10, 25, 50 and so on products. Also, we can search for a specific product here. Uh, this drop down helps us to select other dimensions to compare. Let's try to select uh, item brand to display. What else we can do here is also add additional dimensions to break down. We need to click on a plus icon and select uh, the dimension. If we scroll up a little bit, uh, we can see two default charts. It is line chart and scatter plot. Above uh, our plots, you can see a button to add filter. When we click on it, we see a field where we can select from a drop down dimensions to filter. In my case, it will be device category. I will select a mobile only and then press OK and apply. Now it is applied to all charts. But what if we want to compare side by side top performance product on mobile and desktop? We can do it by using add comparison here. As the first segment will be mobile users. and I press apply. The second one will be desktop users. Uh, we can remove all user segment and compare the best performing products by sales. If I scroll down, you can see the side-by-side -side comparison added to all charts as well as our table. What else I, I'm not mentioned is also we can adjust the date range in the top right corner also we can edit comparison, share this report and find some insights. If you have an editor access to J4, then you will see one more icon here uh, with a pencil to adjust metrics for your reports. In my case, I have a view only access to this account. That's why I will create a custom report in J4. Let's click on explore. Blend. Here we can replicate the current report with some customization. First of all, let's add dimension by clicking on a plus icon. From there, I search for item name. Enable the checkbox and press import. Uh, then I click on plus again, uh, but in this case, selecting metrics. And uh, it uh, will be items viewed, items added to cart, items checked out, items purchased and also items revenue and click import. Now we can add all KPIs to rows and values by double clicking on dimensions and metrics. Now we see the funnel by each product, but it is still not a complete picture. It would be great if we can calculate percentages between steps. Uh, there are metrics for this purpose and it is called card to view rate and uh, purchase to view rate. But unfortunately, I don't see these metrics inside Google Analytics. You can check it by clicking on a plus icon and uh, searching for card to view rate. In my case, uh, it is missing. I, do, I don't know why. Let me know in the comments below if you see these metrics in your accounts. But where we can uh, access for sure these metrics is inside Looker Studio by using Google Analytics Connector. Uh, let me jump to Looker Studio and show you how to pull these metrics. Uh, you see that I replicated custom report from GA4 by adding a table chart and searching for all metrics from GA4 and then drag and dropping them to metrics field. Now I will add card to view rate and purchase to view rate metrics. Uh, I just search for card to view rate, dragging and dropping it here. The same for purchase to view rate. One additional step that we can do is we can add heat map to visually display the most extreme values. I need to go to style, 
scroll down uh, here I applied for column 5 uh, heat maps and the same I want to do for a purchase to view rate. I right click on the table and uh, create resize columns fit to data. It will uh, adjust all the columns accordingly. That's all what I wanted to tell you about product performance. I hope that this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about e-commerce analytics and if you need help with web analytics or reporting then check the links in the description below.